Hello everyone. What I have here for you today is a Sentry Safe. To be specific, it's a Sentry Safe model SFW123FC. I purchased this guy off of Facebook Marketplace and it came as is. It's missing the box. It was also missing the pamphlet with the factory code, which means as it sits right now, it's useless. It does not have a bypass key, so I'm unable to just pick it open. If I want to be able to use this, I need to somehow get the door open so I can access the factory code and program a new code in. So I'm going to open it momentarily using the keypad, but not in the way you might think. So there's a small Phillips screw at the six o'clock position on the keypad. I need to remove that first. Set it aside so you don't lose it. And then counterclockwise rotation keypad will just pop right out. There's two wiring harnesses. The one on the left, upper left, that's for powering the keypad. The lower right wiring harness is for communication between the keypad and the so-called brains of the sentry safe. On the right side of the wiring harness, there is a black and green wire, and that is our target. We're going to be connecting to it with the flipper zero. You're going to want to open the Flipper Zero Sentry Save app and you'll see the pinout. You want your green wire in the C1 position, the GPIO headers, and you can put the black wire in the ground of your choosing. The end is a DuPont connector. And I've used heat shrink to kind of keep the wires together. So we're going to go ahead and attach the wires into the wiring harness using the DuPont connectors at the end. They're going to slip between the white plastic housing of the wires and the wires themselves. As you can see, it says press OK to open safe. You're going to hear the solenoid fire as soon as I hit the OK button. And it is open. Now that the safe is open, we can retrieve the factory code and set whatever code we'd like to the safe. We're going to need to remove this back panel. On this size of Sentry Safe, there's three clips that secure this panel to the door using a flathead. I start at the top, pulling away from the door on the panel, and then just proceed down. Set the panel off to the side. And you can see the bolt mechanism. And up here is the solenoid mechanism. And there are the wires running to it from the keypad. Located just out of sight here is a barcode that we're going to scan. And it is going to give the factory code. So at this angle, you can see the barcode clearly. It's easier to see with the bolt extended. Using a barcode scanner app, I'm going to go ahead and scan the barcode. And there's our factory code. Let's give it a try. So the safe is still locked. You can see the bolt is extended. Let's go ahead and put the keypad back in. And test out our code. So that's one, two, six, four, zero. Here's the solenoid fire. One, two, six, four, zero. And we now have a working sentry safe. That's all I got for today. If you have any questions about the content of this video or any requests for other content, please let me know in the comments section. Thanks for watching.